Are you craving lasagna but don't want to deal with all the fuss? Try my baked penne recipe. It's got all the familiar tomato and cheesy flavors you love, but way easier to make. It's a shortcut for lasagna that's always popular with everyone. Welcome back, my name is Daniel here to show you simplified recipes that are easy to follow using common ingredients. If you're new to this channel, remember to hit subscribe and that notification bell for more delicious recipes that your friends and family will love. Today we're going to be making baked penne lasagna or baked ziti. You can use whatever kind of pasta you wish, but it is so, so good. It's essentially lasagna simplified. Let's get right into it. Start by preparing all the ingredients. Today, I'm mincing up three cloves of garlic and dicing up one large yellow onion and two medium tomatoes. This is a versatile recipe where you can load in additional vegetables such as carrots and celery. Also, shred one cup of mozzarella cheese. You can always use more if you wish. For the ricotta cheese mixture, add one cup of ricotta cheese to a bowl and add some Parmesan cheese and parsley to taste. Stir everything together until well combined and then set it aside. Optionally, you can add an egg here to help bind the cheese and make it smoother, but it isn't necessary in this recipe. To some oil over medium high heat, add in the minced garlic and the diced onions. Let it cook for several minutes until the garlic is fragrant and the onions are softened. Then, add in one pound of lean ground beef and season it with whatever you desire. I recommend using some salt, black pepper, and Italian seasoning, but use whatever you have on hand. I added some dried basil and oregano here. Season it to taste. Stir all the seasonings into the ground beef and continue breaking it apart in the pan while it cooks and browns. When there is no more pink in the beef, stir everything together in the pan well. Then, add in the diced tomatoes and give it a good stir. Let it cook for a couple minutes. When the tomatoes have softened, add in two to two and a half cups of tomato sauce, depending on how saucy you like it. Stir everything together until well combined and allow it to simmer and develop more flavor. This is also an opportunity to taste the sauce and season it accordingly. I recommend adding in some sugar here to balance out the acidity of the tomatoes, but that is up to your preference. While the sauce is simmering, cook 12 ounces of dried penne pasta or any kind of shortcut pasta you wish in some boiling salted water. Give it a stir from time to time to prevent sticking and let it cook to a minute or two under al dente. Drain the pasta and add it to the meat sauce giving it a good stir. Add the ricotta cheese mixture. And stir everything together until well incorporated. Transfer half of the pasta to a 9 by 13 inch baking dish. And spread it evenly into the corners. Sprinkle on half of the shredded mozzarella cheese. Top with the remaining pasta to the brim. Spread it out evenly. And then top with the remaining mozzarella cheese. Now it's ready to bake. Bake the pasta in a 375 degree Fahrenheit oven for between 20 to 25 minutes or until bubbly and the cheese on top is melted. Optionally, garnish with some parsley on top and let it rest for 10 minutes before serving. And there you have it, delicious baked penne lasagna. 
classic comfort food at its finest. It's always a hit with the kids and perfect for feeding a crowd. This dish will become a family favorite that you'll make over and over again. Hope you enjoy! All right, everyone, it is time for the taste test. I'm really excited about this baked penny lasagna. You have no idea how good it smells in the kitchen right now. Mm, my mouth is watering. And get a nice big bite with the mozzarella cheese. Here we go, first bite. Mm. This reminds me of lasagna so much. It's so good. It's cheesy, it's creamy. The pasta is just baked to perfection. And you can't go wrong with this recipe. It is so delicious. Um, you can customize this lasagna or baked penne to whatever your tastes are. I use some onions, tomatoes, ground beef, but you can certainly use sausage. You can use whatever vegetables, carrots, celery. That ricotta cheese and mozzarella cheese works beautifully in this baked penne. It is so satisfying and brings me back to classic lasagna flavors. But it's so much easier and simpler to deal with this than those sheets of lasagna. Now I will mention that this pasta looks drier than what it normally would look like. It's only because I used less sauce. I only used about a cup and a half of tomato sauce. If you use the full two, two and a half cups of tomato sauce, you're gonna get a much saucier pasta. I know a lot of people like their lasagna more saucy, so just increase the amount of tomato sauce and you'll be good. It is so delicious. Your friends and family are absolutely gonna love this and it's perfect to bring to potlucks, perfect to bring to parties. You're not gonna be disappointed and it reheats really well. The flavors develop even more the next day, so it's perfect for leftovers as well. And as always, if you like this recipe, give me a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what kind of pasta dish you want me to try next. And remember to hit subscribe and that notification bell for more delicious recipes. I will see everyone soon. Till next time. Bye everyone.